I was very fortunate just recently to be given this particular uh, organ for free. It's a Yamaha Electone A55N. And I believe it's probably been sat in someone's garage for a number of years. But fortunately, when I got it home, it uh, essentially works. There's a few scratchy uh, controls and potentiometers. And some of the buttons for the rhythm don't work. Uh, but it's essentially a working keyboard. Uh, all the all the upper and lower keys all work and it's just got a coating of dust and leaves and bits and pieces accumulated over the years. Very interested in this particular model because inside there's a VCF and a VCA chip that do some of the effects. Um, one particular one is the Rhythmic Wah. There's a v dedicated VCF chip inside that that does that particular function, the wah, automatic wah function. And for the vibraphone, there's a dedicated VCA chip that does the tremolo effect for the vibraphone. Uh, and it's got, as you can see, there's 12 buttons for the rhythms, but some of them don't work. They don't, it doesn't, you don't get the rhythm. Uh, just undoing a bolt left and right allows you to hinge the top panel up. It's a nice easy access to get inside and repair the machine or have a look inside. That's the upper tone uh, board uh, for the upper pre upper presets and uh, just doing the tonal filters and two bolts underneath it left and right will allow you to hinge up the upper keyboard again to gain you access further inside the machine that's the bottom of the uh, upper preset um, tone board uh, that's the main board there it's covered over with some sort of metalized cardboard cover and that's the amplifier, which is about a 30 watt amplifier circuit and transformer there. Uh, so that's the bottom of the upper keyboard, which is 36 keys, to, uh, three octaves. And another two bolts un underneath, uh, left and right, uh, gains you access underneath the lower keyboard, just hinges that up. And that's the bottom of the uh, buttons, button control panel for the drums. And that's the on-off uh, switches there and the main volume. And then there's a headphone amplifier and output sockets at the bottom. That's the pedals for the bass sounds. Uh, and that's the expression pedal, um, volume adjustment foot pedal there. And looking now, I've just taken the cover off the main circuit board and that's where the main work is done. Uh, you probably see a big big uh, black chip at the top left. Oh, actually, zoom, zoom in, zoom in with rhythmic wire section. That's the one I'm particularly interested in. There's a 4011 chip that does the uh, uh, counter, and there's a IG02611 VCF chip that does the wire effect. That big chip at the top there, that is does it actually generates the rhythm, the sounds. It does the rhythm and the individual sounds as well. And that's the main tone generator the chip, that YM604, and there's a key assigner to the left off camera. And just examining the upper preset filter board, again, just one of the, one of the chips I was interested in is marked IC5. If you look carefully, if I can manage to get, get zoomed in and focused, it's, it's not a standard um, like a spider leg chip. It's actually a single row chip called I, marked IC5 just there. And that's a VCA which does the tremolo effect for the vibraphone. Dedicated chip for that particular function. Uh, very easy to take apart as you can see just six bolts and you have full access inside the machine these are these items were built very well very easy to manage and now we'll listen to the, some of the sounds